Are you tired of being hit by giant balls in Waluigi Pinball in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe? What if I tell you the path isn't random? Let's take a look. The first ball hits the first bumper at around 8, 28 seconds. Look how it moves. And then repeats. Second and last ball is the other bumper at around 44 seconds. Let's see its cycle. The cycle is completed. Let's understand the path. There are six bumpers and I count them as in the pictures. Two flippers that I name them A and B. The first ball hits bumper 2 and goes to 3, then to 6, A, comes back to 6, again to 3, then changes to 4, 1, 2, and repeats. The second ball starts from bumper 1, then 4, 5, B, back to 5 and 4, and you turn to 3, 2, one and repeats. So there's both routes. One is the other's mirror image. What I say about one part, the other sits the symmetry. Let's see if we can de develop some strategies. A ball can hit bumper one in two ways. One from two and goes to four. Another from four to two. Bumper two is symmetrical, just two ways. From one to three and from 3 to 1. Two ways of being hit also for 5. From B to 4 and from 4 to B. 6 is the mirror image, only two ways. From 3 to A and from A to 3. For bumpers 1, 2, 5 and 6 there's only one route that can be passed through in one way or the opposite. Flippers are easier. Flipper A is a ball from 6 and send it back to 6. B from 5 and to 5. Only one way in both directions. For 3 and 4 things get complicated. 3 can be hit from 6 to 4, from 2 to 6, from 4 to 2. Symmetrically, 4 from 1 to 5, from 5 to 3 and from 3 to 1. Three different paths. Let's sum it up. The upper part is easy. There's only a ball for path. You can be sure where the ball is gonna lead. If you see a ball going to 5 or 6, you know it will go to B and A, and vice versa from B to 4 and from A to 3. The real mess is the lower part. A path can be passed through by both poles. There are some, set, some general rules of the movement. Never vertical and never two times in a row horizontal or oblique. You have to be careful to look where the ball comes from, like in the previous parts of the video. 1 and 2 is just one path in a way or the other. Let's focus on 3 and 4. If the ball comes from the upper part, it will move horizontally. If it comes obliquely from lower, it will go to the upper part. The only way they can send the ball to the lower part is when it comes horizontally. Thanks for watching.